Welcome to the Insurance Brokers Podcast Helpful Hints. Here we break down the best, most informative bits of our full-length interviews. For a provincial broker such as ourselves, the vast majority of business we can place in what we call the, the general intermediary market, which is, you know, the, the big names that uh, everybody knows, likes and trusts, hopefully. But every now and again, uh, there'll be an opportunity or a situation whereby cases either rather large, rather unique or rather difficult, and it might not be on, on what the insurers refer to as their green or their amber list. And what I mean by that is uh, the vast majority of insurers have these uh, red, amber, green lists. Green is uh, topical flavour of the month, and I think they now refer to it as being vanilla, which everybody loves, which is kind of easy peasy lemon squeezy to place and underwrite. Amber is something that needs a little bit more attention and dedication and a bit more focus by underwriters insofar as they may or may not be able to squeeze that onto their, onto their policies. And then all the stuff on the red on the red list is, in the vast majority of cases, something that the insurers just don't have an appetite for. And it's those situations and those risks that ordinarily a, a broker would need to walk into Lloyd's or utilise uh, the services of a Lloyd's broker. So with that in mind, I've placed business in and out of Lloyd's for probably the last 25 odd years, and we... Uh, utilise the services of a fairly substantial Lloyds broker that has capacity to place risks into Lloyds and the London market for our property, liability, directors and officers, PI and medical indemnity, medical malpractice risks.